Hello, welcome to Biot Anime. In this video, we'll be talking about isolation of industrially important microorganism and their screening. Common methods of isolation of pure culture are 1. Isolation by streak play technique. In this method, an inoculation loop is used to transfer microorganism from sample to medium. For example, quadrant streaking. 2. Micromanipulator method. Micromanipulators are devices, which permit one to, pick out a single cell, from a mixed culture. This instrument is used in conjunction with a microscope to pick a single cell from a hanging drop preparation. 3. Isolation by enrichment method. This method is used to isolate those microorganisms, which are present in, relatively small numbers, or that have, slow growth rates compared to the other species present in the mixed culture. The enrichment culture strategy provides a specifically designed cultural environment by incorporating a specific nutrient in the medium and by modifying the physical conditions of the incubation. The incubation of known composition and specific condition of incubation favors the growth of desired microorganisms but is unstable for the growth of other types of microorganisms. Example, Lowenstein, Jensen medium, contain malachi green, and is used for selective isolation of mycobacterium species. 4. Serial dilution method. This method is commonly used to obtain pure cultures of those microorganisms that have not yet been successfully cultivated on solid media and grow only in liquid media. Screening of microorganisms. The screening of microorganisms are generally grouped into two broad categories. They are 1. Primary screening. 2. Secondary screening. 1. Primary screening is used for detection and isolation of the desired microorganisms based on its qualitative ability to produce the desired product like antibiotic, amino acid, or enzymes, etc. Important primary screening techniques are 1. Crowded play technique. This technique is primarily employed for detecting those microorganisms which are capable of producing antibiotics. The antibiotic producing activity of a colony is indicated by no growth of any other bacterial colony in its vicinity. The region of no growth is indicated by the formation of a clear and colorless area around the antibiotic producing microorganisms colony on the agar plate, known as growth inhibitory zone. Such a colony is isolated from the plate and purified either by making repeated subculturing or by streaking on a plate containing suitable medium. The purified culture is then tested for its antibiotic spectrum. 2. Indicated dye technique. Certain microorganisms are capable of producing acids and amines from natural sources. It can be detected by incorporating certain pH indicator dyes such as neutral red or bromothymol blue into nutrient agar medium. The change in the color of a particular dye in the vicinity of a colony will indicate the ability of that colony to produce an organic acid or base. 3. Auxanotrophic technique. This technique is employed for the detection and isolation of microorganisms capable of producing certain extracellular substances such as growth stimulating factors like amino acids, vitamins, etc. In this method, a test organism with a definite growth requirement for the particular metabolite is used. For this purpose, spread a suitable aliquot on the surface of a sterilized agar plate and allow the growth of isolated colonies. After the incubation, the suspension of test organism is streaked near to sample colonies. The production of the particular metabolites will be indicated by their increased growth adjacent to colonies. Such colonies are isolated and purified. 4. Technique of supplementing volatile organic substances. This technique is employed for the detection and isolation of microorganisms that are capable of utilizing carbon source from volatile substrates, like hydrocarbons, low molecular weight alcohols and similar carbon sources. The technique begins by spreading suitable dilution of microbial source like soil suspension onto the surface of a sterile agar medium containing all the nutrients except the volatile substrate. Instead, the volatile substrate is applied on to the lid of the Petri dishes, which are incubated by placing them in an inverted position. Secondary screening. Secondary screening can provide broad range of information pertaining to the ability of the organism to produce metabolite. Quality of the yield product. Type of fermentation process. And elimination of the organism, which are not industrially important. Methods of secondary screening. 1. Giant colony technique. 
used for isolation and detection of those antibiotics which diffuse through the solid medium. For example, species of Streptomyces, which are capable of producing antibiotics during primary screening, is isolated from the culture and inoculated into the central area of a sterilized petroplate containing nutrient agar medium. The plates are incubated until sufficient microbial growth takes place. Cultures of test organism, whose antibiotic sensitivity is to be measured, are streaked from the edges of the plate, up to, but not touching the growth of Streptomyces, and are further incubated to, allow the growth of the test organisms. The distance over which, the growth of different test organism is, inhibited by the antibiotic secreted by Streptomyces is measured in millimeters. And this relative inhibition of growth of different test organisms by the antibiotics is called, inhibition spectrum. 2. Filtration method is employed for testing those antibiotics, which are poorly soluble in water, or do not, diffuse through the solid medium. In this method, the streptomyces is grown in a broth and, its mycelium is separated by filtration, to get culture filtrate. Various dilutions of, antibiotic filtrates are prepared and, added to, molten agar plating medium, and allowed to solidify. Later on, cultures of various, test organisms is measured by their, degree of growth in, different antibiotic dilutions. 3. Liquid medium method. Employed for, further screening to determine the, exact amount of antibiotic produced by a microorganism, like Streptomyces. In this method, Erlen myoconical flasks containing, highly nutritive medium are, inoculated with Streptomyces and incubated at room temperature. They are also aerated by, Shaking continuously during incubation period to allow Streptomyces to produce the antibiotic in an optimum quantity. Samples of culture fluids are periodically withdrawn aseptically for undertaking following routine checks. Suitability of different media for maximum antibiotic production. Determine the value of pH at which there will be maximum growth of microorganisms and antibiotic production. To check for contamination. Determine whether the antibiotic produced is, new or not. To check the, stability of antibiotic, at various pH levels and temperature. And the, toxicity of the antibiotic against, experimental animals. To determine the, solubility of the antibiotic against the experimental animals. Further studies conducted during secondary screening are, effect of incubation temperature, and anti-foaming agents on fermentation. Rate of resistance developed among the test organisms, checking the antibiotic for its bacteriostatic or bactericidal properties, checking the possibility of precursor chemical of the antibiotic production in the medium, suitability of organism for mutation and other genetic studies. Thank you for watching the video. For more videos please subscribe to this channel and press bell icon. See you again in the next video.